WHS 11 and Sullivan College have welcomed Kentuckiana STEM teachers to compete for money for their classrooms. And we have had a whole lot of entries and we've now narrowed them down to four finalists. And now it is your turn to weigh in. Each day this week, we're going to show you the video entries and you can tell us who should win. Mr. Jordan Compton is the first to take us into his innovative classroom at Olmstead South. The, the, the power into one of these, okay, like right here. It's about the 10% of girls that make up the, the field of technology whenever they grow up, and we teach at all-girls school. So to get them started so young in some of the stuff we do, and you know, taking it on, engaging in it hands-on, really working together, and learning to collaborate and work and, and troubleshoot, problem solve, and get all these like high-tech things done that we, th we think is gonna give them a leg up, not just leaving middle school and going into high school, but maybe you know later on in life too. Where it doesn't matter wherever else, just somewhere where there's not power yet. I mean, there's girls that come in here that um, can, you know, have had basic coding, you know, have can do some great, awesome things already. And I'm like, wow, you know, I'm, I'm impressed. And I have some girls that have trouble logging to their computer when they get here. So we have that, that we have a gap in skills, but to say there's an excitement difference or, you know, there's a difference in whether they're not they wanna try this stuff, it, not at all. They, they come in and they're ready to work. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's cool. Are you sure? The, the, the most popular kid in my class isn't the most popular kid, it's the kid that's already done it. Because they're like, how did you do that? How did you figure that part out? You know, that's who becomes the most popular kid for the day. And size it out to what you want, and if you want to put any other designs on that heart, go ahead, okay? That thing they take away from collaborating and, and teaching and, and teaching others how to do it, that's stuff they will use, no matter what their job is one day. So let's add a battery in here somewhere. It looks like we're gonna go red to red, right? But once they start seeing, once they start physically seeing the tangible things they take away from it, that they're bought in, they're ready. They're ready to go now. They've gotten something out of it. You know, it's not, you know, they didn't get a good grade like they get in other classes. They get a physical thing, you know, that they're gonna take home and show their parents or clip on their backpack or purse, so. You wanna make it fit on the whole screen, okay? So our X and our Y is lined up pretty well, right? That passion project in the year where the, throughout the entire year, they're choosing. I have just a big area of challenges open that they get to pick. So they are picking, but it kind of guides them through. So it's saying, you know, make a keychain, make a cookie cutter, um, make a sticker of, that's a selfie, um, you know, code these, you know, this robot to do this. But it, they're kind of guided. But at the end of the year, I just open it up. You know, what do you want to do? How do you want to go about doing it? How are you going to get there? You know, we create this big guideline and then they just get to go and they get to be free. And I mean, that's where the excitement comes in. I've got, you know, people that's, that are using what they've learned, using uh, wiring and electricity to create soda machines. I've got uh, kids, you know, building a Rubik's Cube solver out of what they learned in robotics class. I had a girl using her Photoshop skills to make a poster for a basketball team that she, you know, she's like, this is going to get more people to come to, my team, to our games. They're going to be excited to come to our games because this looks awesome. Is that what messes up whenever you try to do decimals? No, because... Um, the, the new 3D printing pins, I don't know if you've seen those, but you can draw on 3D print as you do. I've got some artsy girls. That would be awesome. Remember, it doesn't matter what color the wires are. Um, I talk about, like, the cap and, like, the putting a ceiling on learning. And we have that ceiling with some girls because there's things they want to do that we don't have. And I mean, that's any school, but you know, to have funding to where, you know, you can say, what is it that you're really interested in? And knowing that maybe we can get that for them, you know, that just opens up even more. It gives them more options. All right, let's try moving our pins. I, I don't get that anymore. You know, the, why do I need to do this? You don't, you rarely get. And when you do, it's really easy, you know, like, like let's look it up. Let's look at up some jobs that you can hold one day. And Olmstead Academy South in Louisville is an all-girls school that recently changed all classrooms to STEAM. Now that's focusing on science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. The teacher in that video, Mr. Compton, wants to win the prize money to buy extra equipment for his students. So there is uh, no ceiling on their pursuit of computer programming and robotics projects. Well, tomorrow we're going to show you our second finalist. Just log on to WHAS11.com and you'll see the Inspiring Curiosity banner in the middle of our home page. Click on it, watch the videos, and vote for who you think should win this contest. And next here at 5.30,